Hello Cancer! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann. Uh, on the back of the book here is a website. There's a picture of Chris Ann at the bottom. You can see the website at the end of the last sentence. Chris-Ann with an E.com. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. I really like um, her artwork. Really, really enjoy it. Uh, supportive Oracle Cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace. Illustrations by Elaine Marzen. Website in the back of this one, rockpoolpublishing.com. .au, A as an apple, U as an umbrella. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know where that came from, but there you go. All right, what do we got for cancer? Okay, what's going on with all this? Okay. There might be something with secrets going on here. Um, secrets. I keep getting something with secrets. Um, uh, okay. A lot of face down cards. I don't know. It's secrets. I feel like there's secrets coming in people talking about things. You know something's going on, you don't quite know what it is. Um, the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, naturally intuitive to some level. Sometimes that can be just that something isn't right and you just know something isn't right but you can't put your finger on it. I think this might be one of those times where you know something isn't going right but you can feel it. Like the energy isn't right, the way people are talking, it's like they might say something nice to your face or they're talking about somebody else in a nice way, but it just feels like it's not like, it's kind of like they're saying that, but they don't, it doesn't feel like they mean it. Um, something like that. Or they're saying something to your face or somebody else and it does, it feels like they're saying stuff that doesn't really mean anything, if that makes sense. Um, you're trying to figure it out. You don't want this to be the actual case, but this has happened before in this situation. Whoever these people are, I feel like that's part of it. It could be a work situation very easily. It could be family or friends, wherever it's linking up for you. Um, this is a situation you're very tightly bound to. Uh, it could be a relationship. Uh, it could be a relationship connection. Because I feel like this has happened before. Maybe not directly to you, but you've seen it happen maybe with these people before or with this person with other people before. Um, you've seen this play out in this... It's like, I keep getting this analogy of like, when I first met somebody, I knew they had a lot of trouble around them and things were a little bit, there's a lot of discord there. And I don't know, I didn't get involved in it, so I didn't think much of it. And then, you know, I became friends with that person later. And then similar things started happening again and they acted like they were completely innocent. And I was thinking to myself, this is interesting because the same type of thing seems to be playing out, but they're saying they're in innocent. And I learned the hard way, like, my intuition was telling me, like, something isn't right here, you know, smoke, fire, and all that good stuff. Um, you might have, like, there might be something similar like that has gone on with this person before. Uh, doesn't mean that they're a bad person, but they might be attracted to people who are not the best for them. Um, if I'm going to give a little bit more about that situation, the person that I was in connected, connected to, I think it was, like something to do with friendships that they were connected to or some type of thing like that. They were connected to people who were troublemakers and they just were overly overly loyal to those people. And technically it wasn't their fault that these things kept happening because they weren't starting those problems, but they were connecting to people who were troublemakers. I mean, it was what it was. Um, so it's kind of like there could be a couple of different levels or dimensions to this situation. Are the secrets? Okay, there's more, there's more, there's more. Okay, before we get to the secrets. Somebody's not dealing with something. That's part of why there's a problem here. That's partly why there's secrets. People are, somebody's trying to act like there's nothing going on. Somebody's trying to act like they didn't have anything to do with it. This could be somebody who's f focusing heavily on work, or if this is a work situation, they're trying to get so deep into a project that they can't be bothered with this other stuff, even though they might have a 
very strong connection to why it's a problem to begin with. Um, this this person who comes off comes off as if they're innocent. I don't think that's quite correct. Um, this could be this person didn't start the problem, but they might have propagated it or pushed something forward that they didn't know what they were talking about, and they pushed forward an idea or a thought or a feeling, and they might have made something a lot worse. I feel like they figured that out after the fact, and now they're trying to hide from it. Um, this somebody who's getting really deep into work. They're like they're trying to stay busy so that they don't look like they could be a part of the situation or they're too busy to deal with the situation. Like they're just hoping it'll disappear on its own, like it'll just dissipate. As if it's a cloud of bad air that is just gonna kinda dissipate and go away, but it's not going away. Um they I feel like this person, whoever's doing that, did have something to do with the level of problem the level of the problem maybe they didn't start it but it's like if it was a problem from the scale of one to ten that was like a two or a three they made it a six or an eight like their connection and what they did made it a lot worse um they're trying to like disappear from the whole situation how is this going to affect cancer um I'm getting some cards where you might have to disconnect from this. I'm just trying to be careful because it might be, it's not that you want to, it might be like, by getting, a, yeah, I think you're going to disconnect. You got judgment in your favor by disconnecting. And then the eight of, uh, eight of wands is like a quick exit. Um, I feel like you might have to put some dis distance between you and this situation. Because I'm getting like, I don't want to make it any worse, and I don't feel like there's anything I can do to make it better, so I'm just going to step out of it. It's a situation I feel like there's secrets are going on around you anyway, and this is almost at this point, you start figuring out what these secrets are, and you're like, well, you know what? People don't realize I'm starting to figure out what's going on here, and they don't want me to know anyway. So if I just quietly exit stage left, they don't want me involved anyway, so maybe I should just do that. Because I don't think I can make this better. Maybe they just need to solve their own problems. Because I, I, like that's an exit card. Because I saw that person on the road. The three of wands is moving on. And certain, like sometimes this is a travel card. Sometimes this is moving on. So it's the three of wands. Where's the third wand? Oh, it's down there. Okay. Um. There's also this other card here. The eight of um. Cups. That's a moving on card. Like something. This isn't the worst situation, but there's better things out there for me. And then I feel like I'm much more appreciated by... I don't feel like this is going to go your way by sticking in it. You get more appreciation by leaving it. I feel like if you get involved in this situation, I think you get the anti-appreciation, if you follow me on that. Um, I mean, is this kind of like just... Are we just saying to like walk away from it? Is that the whole point? Yeah. Other people are going to have to... Okay. There's, there's fallout with this situation. You don't have to be stuck in it. Other people who created it or made it worse, even that example of that person, like the situation, maybe they didn't start it, but they got their little two cents in there and went from a level two to three to a level six to eight, like it jumped. They're stuck in it because they, they stuck their nose in it. So it may be understandable why they did that, but it's not benefiting them in the long run. You don't have to go down that road with them. Because they're going to have to fight. They're going to have to fight. I don't know. Maybe just a verbal fight, but they get in the middle of this fight because of it. They're drawn right into it. There's going to be loss, um, and you can't. they can't get away from it. It's just something they can't get away from. There's going to be loss. When I get the death card, I feel more like there's loss. Um, it will balance out the way it needs to. Peace will return at this point. Well, not at this point. At some point, at some point, peace will return. Literally, that's the peace card. Um, I just, I feel like they're saying, you don't have to do this to yourself, Cancer. <laughs> you don't have to drag yourself through this. Um, there's a lot of stress going on in the situation. People getting on each other's nerves. People kind of going after each other. If you just kind of stay out of it, you don't have to be targeted. You don't have to defend yourself. You don't have to defend anybody else. People who started the situation, they should end it. They should clean up their own mess. 
let people clean up their own mess. Kind of like on this card, the community card, people cleaning up their own mess. That's kind of what I'm feeling here, the community cleaning up the community's mess. People involved, need to, they need to do it themselves. Um, you don't have to be involved. You'll be a lot, and I get, I think I need to come back to this one more time. If you stay out of it, when it's all said and done and everything calms down, you'll be, you'll be thankful that you did. You'll be thankful you did, because I don't feel like anybody's going to be nasty to you because of it. They didn't want you to be involved anyway. They didn't want you to know, and if you just stay out of it, and after it's all said and done, you'll be thankful that you did. I'm getting you'll be really thankful that you did, because it's going to work out the same way whether you're involved or not. Whether you're involved or not, it's going to have the same ending. It's just if you get involved, you get a lot of mud and crap thrown at you that you have to deal with. If you stay out of it, you don't have to deal with all that nastiness. If it's not going to make a difference, if it's not going to make things any better, why put yourself through that? You do have the choice, though. Okay. I keep thinking we're at the end, but there's just a little bit left. They're saying, just in case it looks like you're just going to naturally do this, that's not what we're seeing. You have the choice to let it pass you by. If you decide you have to get involved, they're just giving you a heads up, and they're telling you it's not going to make a difference. You don't have to get involved, but you don't have to stay out of it either. It's up to you. Up to you. Are we good? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below, same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.